Welcome to the Daily Race. <clears throat> oh man, my <clears throat> so my voice needs to wake up a little bit here too. Man, so glad to have you here as we are kicking off. <clears throat> Excuse me. We record this live. That's what you get sometimes. All right, I think I'm ready now. All right, we are kicking off the Daily Race here today. We are in Nehemiah chapter 5. And we've been studying uh, leadership principles, um, the idea of God placing a, a burden on our heart to accomplish something for his kingdom and, and what that process looks like. Uh, and uh, Nehemiah gives us an incredible, incredible example of that. And yesterday we see him, it looks like he's taking a left-hand turn. He starts talking and worrying about the people's debts and uh, financial situations and things like that. But really it's, it's the underlying issue to it all. Uh, that the, the real problem is that people have turned their back on God and aren't living his way. So we see them kind of uh, going back and, and making sure they're following God's commands. And that'll come up some more in, in the rest of the book here as well. Uh, but today we're going to find uh, some of the practices that Nehemiah does along the way. Found here in Nehemiah chapter 5, verse 14. So let me read the, read the passage here today. It says, Moreover, from the time that I was appointed to be governor in the land of Judah, so this is Nehemiah talking, uh, from the 20th year to the 32nd year of Artaxerxes, the king, 12 years, neither I nor my brothers ate the food allowances of the governor. The former governors who were there before me laid heavy burdens on the people and took from them their daily rations of 40 shekels of silver. Even their servants lorded it over the people, but I did not do so because of the fear of God. I also persevered in the work on this wall and acquired no land, and all my servants were gathered there for the work. Moreover, there were at my table 150 men, Jews and officials, besides those who came to us from the nations that were around us. Now, what was prepared at my expense for each day was one ox, six choice sheep and birds, and every 10 days, all kinds of wine in abundance. Yet for all this, I did not demand a food allowance of the governor because the service was too heavy on this people. Remember for my good, O oh my God, all that I've done for these people. So Nehemiah was in a position of authority there. And by that right, he could have taxed the people uh, up to 40 shekels of uh, silver uh, from the people. I think that said per day for their daily rations, uh, 40 sh uh, shekels of silver in order to pay for his expenses, right? Just to, to cover his food and his housing and, and things like that, as well as kind of what he needs to do to get the job done. But Nehemiah looking at the situation and when he gets there and knowing what he's there for, he doesn't take that on himself. He does not tax the people. He doesn't have the people cover his expenses. He's covering his own expenses as he's completing this project. But even more than that, he's using his own resources, his own resources to feed the people that are part of the entourage, that are part of uh, the big project, the nobles, the officials. He's taking care of others there. And it's not a cheap thing. I mean, one ox and six sheep per day, that's a lot of food. That's pricey. And what this tells me is that this project is costing Nehemiah a lot to do. You see, a lot of times when we step into an endeavor, when we step into something that God has called us to do, uh, sometimes we don't accurately count the cost. To do something great in God's kingdom, to do something great uh, to impact and affect other people will cost us. There is a cost to us. There is a cost to leadership. In fact, leadership requires sacrifice if we lead the way that Jesus calls us to lead. What is Jesus constantly talking to his disciples about? How do you become great in his kingdom? Become a servant of all. The first will be last and the last will be first. The only way that you can be a leader is to be a servant. Leadership requires sacrifice in Jesus' model of leadership. Here we see a Nehemiah practicing that, that it's costing him to lead. Now, anyone else in this position, as the, the normal way of operating, someone in this position of leadership receives benefits. They receive benefits from the people in order to do their job. But here, Nehemiah is putting benefits into the other people. It's costing him financially to do this. Now, it's not always a financial cost. Sometimes it's, it's an energy cost. Sometimes it's a, an emotional cost, depending on what the project is. But a leader is pouring themselves out for the benefit of others. 
<laughs> Leadership is not about acquiring influence for yourself. It's not about acquiring benefit for yourself. Biblical leadership, Jesus-centered leadership, is leading for the benefit of others. And we see Nehemiah doing that here. He's leading for the sake of others. It's, it's costing him something. Leadership is sacrifice. So with this thing that, that God, this burden that God has placed on you, what is it going, what are you willing to pay? If you're not willing to, to pay the cost, if you're not willing to sacrifice, well then maybe this isn't the role for you. Maybe you're just supposed to be a supporting role in this. Maybe you're just supposed to, to come along someone else who's leading this endeavor because leaders have to be willing to sacrifice. There's a cost to leading the way that Jesus has called us to lead. Whether that's at home, with your family, whether that's in the workplace, whether that's in the community, wherever it is, if we want to lead like Jesus, we must be willing to serve others. Let's pray. Lord, we come to you today and we thank you for your example. God, that, that you love us uh, so much that just your, your whole mission is a demonstration of your leadership. God, that you came down here on earth, you humbly gave up all of the worship in heaven, all of the comforts there, and lived a human life. You came here to serve, to seek and to save those who are lost. And God, we, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We celebrate your, your sacrifice for us, ultimately giving up your life for our sin, for our shame, for our rebellion. Jesus, as we walk into today, may we lead as you have led in our families, in our community, in our workplaces. May we look for places to serve and pour out ourselves for others. And God, we, we recognize that there can be times where that doesn't seem like we're being honored for that. God, you weren't honored for that when you went to the cross. But when you rose from the dead, you receive all the glory, all the power. We, we celebrate that here today, and we pray that we would lead like you lead in every area of our lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. All right. Well, hey, I hope you have a great, great rest of the day. I look forward to seeing you 24 hours from now right back here on The Daily Race. Love you guys.